What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I've got a stamping nail art compilation for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos and let's get started. So I normally do not do face introductions of my compilation videos, but there are a couple of reasons that I wanted to do that for today's video. So just so you guys know, this is an advanced stamping video. So we're gonna be talking about more of the advanced techniques that you can do with nail art stamping. So I'm gonna be talking about reverse stamping, layered stamping, stuff like that. If if you guys do not know anything about stamping nail art, I do have a whole video on that. It's in my Nail Polish 101 playlist. I'm gonna link the video up here so you can check that out. Basically, it's just everything you need to know about stamping, what it is, how to do it, and what products you need in order to do nail stamping. So that's the first reason. Second reason is I did originally plan to do this video in honor of my brand new collaboration stamping plate that I did with MoU London, and that just came out. It actually sold out super quickly faster than expected. So I wanted to just give you guys a little update on that. For those of you who are not able to grab it, we are going to be doing a restock. It just takes a few months to make and produce. So it's probably not going to happen until January, but I will keep you guys posted. And because of that, I did end up doing nail art designs using other stamping plates in this video. So for those of you guys who did get the plate, I have a bunch of designs using it in this video. For those of you guys who did not get the plate, I still have some other fun designs that I think you're going to really enjoy. I'm also going to be using my old maniology collaboration which is still available so everything that i'm using i'm gonna link in the description for you guys so you can check that out but yeah that is my whole intro so let's just get started with the compilation roll footage. So for all of these stamping looks, I am going to be using this large round clear stamper from Maniology, and I'm also going to be using the Orly Bonder base coat. Just for the sake of not making this video like extremely long, I am just getting that out of the way now, so it's just implied I am going to be using base coat under everything. So I'm going to start off the first manicure with a coat of Starly Intergalactic, which is actually a hollow glitter topper, but I do want to just have that over my bare nail because I love the way that that looks with a little visible nail line. So I I am going to be using my collab plate with MoU London for this one, and I'm going to be stamping with the Maniology Straight Up Black. So I'm going to use this eyeball design, and I'm just going to paint some on, scrape it off, and then I am just using that big clear stamper just to pick up the design. Now, since it is a reverse stamping look, I don't have to move extremely quickly. I am just going to peel off any excess bits that I got on the stamper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm taking Starly Diamond Rain, which is another one of my collabs and I'm going to fill in the iris of that eye and this is something this was actually the first manicure that I did as a full manicure using my stamping plate before it came out and for some reason I am just totally obsessed with this look I love this little eye I feel like it's very different from my style but it still somehow fits pretty well and I just think it's so cute <laughs> so in order to get my reverse stamping to actually stick onto my already dry nail I'm gonna be using the maniology sticky base coat and I'm using that as almost like a top for my manicure before I stamp on. I'm gonna let this dry completely, but it is still sticky enough that once I put on that stamp, it's gonna actually come off of the stamper and onto my nails, and that is the secret to reverse stamping, and I'm so excited that I finally figured it out because I think it is just the coolest thing ever and something that I love doing with this new plate. So I'm just going to top this all off with the no smudge top coat, also from Maniology. This stuff is really a lifesaver when it comes to stamping and honestly, nail art in general, because it really does not smudge, which is so impressive, something that I have been absolutely loving lately. So yeah, here is the completed first look, my little spooky eyeball over some nude visible nail line nails. So for the next design, I'm going to be starting off with a base color of Starly Galaxy Gang. I am really going heavy on the collabs in this video, but I feel like I did make all of the products so that they would kind of be able to work in conjunction with each other, even though they're all pretty different. So so hopefully that shows because I do like pairing up all of my stuff together. And we're going to be doing another variation of something I showed in my announcement video, again with my MoU London plate. So I'm going to start off with this shade Heart of Gold and we're going to be doing some little fireworks. So I've got these three designs here that I'm going to use together. So starting off with this big starburst and again I'm just going to be peeling off any of the little excess bits that I don't want to use on my nail with some scotch tape and then I'm just going 
going to stamp that on. I want to work quickly because I don't want the stamp to dry before I apply it onto my nail. And I am taking this fuchsia shade class clown and I am going in with this bigger starburst and I'm just going to layer that on top of the gold design. So just scraping that off, picking it up with the stamper. And then I am also going to be peeling off any excess with scotch tape. I'm going to be doing this for all of the manicures. I'm not going to show it to you guys on all of them, but I just wanted to give you guys a couple of examples so you could see how quickly I am working here. Thankfully, the product doesn't dry too quickly, so I still have time to kind of line everything up and make sure that it looks good on my nails. So to finish off this particular starburst or firework, we're going to take Bam White and I'm just going to use this little starburst center bit and again, just going to stamp that on. And there you have it. There's my first firework. So I just want to clean off the plate and I'm going to do another one, but I thought it would be fun to kind of switch up the order of the colors. So I'm going to use the stamps in the same order, but I'm going to switch up the colors that I'm using for it. So I'll start off with white for the bottom part and the biggest part of the sunburst slash firework. And I'm going to just put that in a separate area of my nail. I don't know. I thought it gave it a little bit of variety. So I thought that would be fun. Then I am just going to use the gold for the outline part of it, scraping that off, stamping it on. You guys know how it is by now. <laughs> and then I am just going to line that up and apply it onto my nail. And then I will add in my little fuchsia center. So the cool thing about this is you can do each nail with a different combination of those three so that you get some nice fireworks. I'm just going to clean off any excess bits with some acetone and a cleanup brush. Really simple. And then I will finish off the manicure with the no smudge top coat. Once again, I know that Moyu London also has a no smudge top coat. So for those of you guys who don't want to shop on both stores, I will try my best to find you guys variations for both. So I will put Put all of that information in the description so you can check that out. So for this next design, we are going in with Starly Diamond Rain because I just can't get enough of pairing Starly shades in general with my new stamping plate. I just feel like they're the perfect combination. I really can't stress that enough because obviously I had these polishes in mind when I was creating it because like I said, I do like being able to use multiple collabs in conjunction with each other. So once again, we are using my plate and we're going to be using a straight up black. This is my favorite black stamping polish and I'm just going to apply this over my cute little crescent moon and I'm going to stamp that onto the stamper. We're going to do a little bit more of some reverse stamping here using the Maniology Heart of Gold stamping polish and I'm just going to apply a little bit on my silicone mat here and then I'm going to fill in the moon and you can really take your time with this. You just want to make sure that you're getting all the little bits and it's honestly kind of a fun like relaxing process. I spent it up here because it really does take forever. <laughs> kind of tedious, but honestly so worth it. And like I said, it's kind of relaxing. So you can see on the other side, this is what it looks like when it is fully filled in. So once again, just taking that sticky base coat and I'm going to apply a coat of it onto my coat of Diamond Rain and then I'm going to let that dry. Like I said, even when it's dry, it's a little bit sticky. So I can just go ahead and apply my dry stamp over it and it looks pretty perfect. But as you could probably see, those stars were not visible in black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same stamping polish in gold and I'm going to take some tape and I'm actually going to take off the crescent moon with some scotch tape so that all we have left is those little stars. And I'm going to use that and I'm going to stamp over the black stars so that it becomes a lot more visible. So for those of you guys who are wondering how I did that in my announcement video, that is my little combo trick. And of course, just finishing off with the no smudge top coat. This is not a very thick top coat. So if I want to have a nice thick manicure, I will always just start with the no smudge top coat, let that dry, and then I'll go in with a coat of my quick dry gel like top coats to make it nice and gel like and like a solid manicure. So moving on to the next manicure, I'm going to use a base of OPI Black Onyx. And this is another one where I am going to be using my new Moyu collab. So after this, I promise we're going to move into some other stamping plates. But for those of you who did buy it, I wanted to give you a lot of inspiration and options for what you could do with it. So we're going to be using the layered planets for this one. So I'm just picking a bunch of colors for this one. I am just using the white for the biggest planet and then I am just going to take that onto my stamper and I'm going to apply that onto my nail just wherever I feel a planet makes sense. <laughs> and then I'm going to take blue glue also from Maniology and I'm going to use that to layer on top of it with my little cool layered planet design here. Now 
Now, honestly, I do recommend using stamping polishes for something like this, just so that they show up really easily over the nail. You don't have to use stamping polish every time you stamp, but I do recommend it for this particular type of layering. I just think it's a little bit easier to work with. So just going in with some different planet sizes and just applying them onto my nail. I'm not worrying too much about making a mess on my skin. I could just clean that up later. And I'm just gonna do a little yellow and pink combo. I thought that would be a cool planet. So I'm just stamping on the top of that one. And honestly, I feel like I didn't do a great job lining up the planets. Kind of hard when you have a big camera in the way, but I promise it's easier if you are not working on camera. And I'm just gonna throw on a little star here too, because I thought that little corner was missing a little something. So you don't always have to start off with a white base. I don't know why I really did that for two out of the three designs on here. I honestly prefer using different colors than white, but I guess this is just where my heart took me for this manicure. So I'm just cleaning this off with a little Q-tip dipped in acetone. And then once I am satisfied with how that looks, I'm just going to go in again with my top coat just to smooth out the design, complete the manicure. Honestly, I don't think it looks too bad. I didn't do a great job lining it up, like I said, but I feel like it still works. So for this next design, I wanted to actually do the same type of manicure using my old Maniology collaboration plate. So again, I'm starting off with black onyx and then I'm going to use my Maniology stamping plate collab, which I also adore we've got these fun little planets. So I'm going to start off with Maniology Bam White and I'm going to use this to do some reverse stamping. So slightly different technique, same colors, same general outcome, but it is going to look a little bit different. So let me show you what we're doing here. So just taking off that excess with some tape and then I'm going to start to fill in those planets. So I'm going to speed this part up just so that you don't have to watch me go through all of this, but basically just taking four colors and I am going to be filling in my little planets and I'm using basically the same color palette that I used in the last manicure just so that we can kind of see how similar these designs are but they're also different enough that you can you can own both of these plates. I think that's totally fine. I'm not biased at all in saying that. But yeah, the beauty of working on a silicone mat is you can just apply the polishes right on there. And then once they're dry, you can peel them off or you can wipe it off with acetone and then it's totally perfect. So yeah, I thought these four colors looked really cute together. I don't need to fill in this whole plate because my nails aren't long enough for all of it, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So I'm just gonna use that sticky base coat again over my dry nail and I'm gonna let that fully dry. And then when I'm finally ready, I'm just gonna press down, apply that fully onto my nail, and then there you have it, my cute little planets. So fun little trick, you can use tape to peel up any excess stamping designs. Just makes it a little bit easy if the stamp is already dry and you don't wanna like use acetone on your skin, you can just fix it up like that. I did still make some mistakes though, so I still wanted to go in with a little bit of acetone just to kind of smooth out those edges and make everything look nice and perfect. And then no surprise here, I'm just gonna finish off with my top coat and that is the completed design. Honestly, I don't know why I wasn't using matte top coat in a lot of these because I feel like all of these would look so cute with matte top coat. So don't forget about your matte top coat. You can always apply that after the no smudge as well. So this next design is actually not an advanced technique. I just really wanted to do something fun with stamping and I thought this was the perfect video to do it. I'm just applying a nice beige base and then I'm going to take a little sponge and some tweezers and I'm going to take the polish fall for Milan from OPI and I'm just gonna use this to kind of darken the edges of my manicure and I'm gonna just kind of create this really interesting base for my stamp and I'm just gonna do some simple stamping on this I'll show you guys at the end this was actually heavily inspired by a painting I did several years ago it's a very large painting of the Mad Hatter from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and I really loved that and I saw that Moyu London had a stamping plate with all of the illustrations from Alice in Wonderland and and I was just so obsessed with it. So I thought I would recreate my original painting on my nails. So this is the plate number nine from the Alice in Wonderland collection. I am just using this little Mad Hatter design. I'm gonna be using the Maniology straight up black just because that is what I had on hand, but the Moyu London one works just as well. And I am just going to fill that in, scrape it off, and then I'm going to pick it up on my stamper. Honestly, I am so impressed that I was able to get so much detail from this plate. I really wasn't expecting it, but the Moyu plates are etched so deep that it really makes it very easy to apply. So here's my little Mad Hatter. My nails are obviously short, so I wasn't able to get my whole little hat in there, but I still 
still honestly love the way that this turned out. So again, you can always use tape on this, but I just, I feel like it's easier to use acetone sometimes. So I'm just cleaning this off with some acetone. And then I'm just going to finish this off with top coat. This one I really think would have been better as a matte design. So I'm not sure why I didn't mattify it because that's like 100% what I do with all of my manicures. Here is the final look, like I said, and let me show you guys my little painting. I don't have this painting anymore, but I did take a picture of it a while ago that I posted on Instagram. So you can see here's my little Mad Hatter and here he is recreated on my nails. Not too bad, right? <laughs> so for the next design, I am starting off with Starly Iris as my base, and we're going to be doing a little bit of some crystal nail art with a maniology plate this time. And again, we're going to be doing some reverse stamping. So this is the M108 plate, and I'm going to be using these really beautiful crystals. I'm going to be using maniology straight up black as my outline for this. Honestly, I feel like black is just my go-to color for stamping, especially if I am outlining something that I'm going to be doing reverse stamping with but you can really do whatever color works for you and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna be filling in my crystals I picked out a few colors that I thought would look really cute together especially with that light purple base so I'm starting off with maniology starfish which is a really beautiful purple hollow that is meant for stamping now you don't have to fill in your designs with stamping polishes as you can see I am using a non stamping polish for some of this as well I'm just using this starly shade because I thought it matched pretty nice Nicely. And I'm also, oh, I'm using two Starly shades here. So this is Starly AU. I don't know. I just thought this combo would be pretty cool with some like pinky, purpley, gold crystals going on over that soft purple base. And again, my nails are short, so I didn't have to technically fill in all of this, but it is nice to see the full design so I can see exactly what part of it I want to stamp onto my nails. So once again, I am just going in with that base coat. I'm letting that dry fully. You can also use the Orly Bonder base coat for this if you want. That also works really well. And then I'm just going to stamp on all of those beautiful crystals. And this one is really hanging off the edge of my nail. So I'm just kind of pulling that off with a bit of tweezers. And then I'm just going to clean up the rest with some acetone and a little cleanup brush. And then I will finish off with the Maniology No Smudge top coat over that. So this is one of the designs that I would definitely want to apply a regular top coat over this just because with all of the polish that I had painted on, it is a little bit thick. So as it dries, it might be a little bit lumpy unless you use a top coat that's gonna even out that whole layer. And now for a quick little Halloween-y interlude of some basic stamping, just because I really wanted to do some Halloween stamping and I didn't know where else to put it, so I'm just including it in this compilation. But honestly, for some of us, it can be Halloween any time of year, so you can really do these designs anytime. I'm just starting off with Black Onyx again, and then I'm gonna go in with the Maniology M032 plate, which I am obsessed with. I'm gonna take the shade Black Magic, which is a really beautiful dark gray linear hollow, and I'm gonna take this little bats design. I thought that would be the perfect design. And honestly, this doesn't just feel Halloween-y. A lot of this plate does, but this is one of the more neutral designs. So I'm just gonna use that little tape trick just to peel off any extra little bats that are on my skin. And I love stamping hollow over black. I think it is such a cool combo and it always turns out looking cool no matter which design you pick. That is literally it for this one. I am just going in with that no smudge top coat and then I have my beautiful little bats. See, you could definitely wear this any time of year. This is like the perfect perfect alternative manicure that you could wear anytime. We've got that sparkle of hollow in there. It's just really fun. And one more really quick, easy, potentially Halloween-y design. I'm using Enchanted Polish Winifred, and this one isn't exactly Halloween-y. I just chose Halloween-y colors for it. And just another way that you can use stamping to kind of create your own vibe. So I'm just using my Maniology collab plate, and I'm using straight up black again. And I'm just going to be stamping on, this is actually my favorite design on the plate. It's like these really beautiful stars that are kind of connected and it's very fractal and I don't know. I don't know how to describe this one, but I really love it. I use it all the time. And yeah, I'm just going to stamp that right onto my orange nails. And that combo definitely does feel a little Halloween-y. And when you see them together, I feel like because the stars are a little blobby over the glitter, it kind of almost looks like spider webby. Or am I making that up? I'm not sure. I'm very much in the Halloween mood. But yeah, I'm just finishing that off with some top coat and then here we have it, my full little design. It's so much fun, nice and fractal, potentially Halloween-y. I don't know. So now that I'm in the Halloween spirit, I want to do one more 
kind of Halloween-y looking design using my new Moyu London collab. So I'm gonna start off with OPI Big Apple Red, which is a really beautiful one coat red that I just recently got and I am totally obsessed with it. And then I'm actually gonna be using some liquid latex that I just poured into a nail polish bottle and I'm gonna apply that around my skin because we're gonna do a red to black gradient. Now I do have a full video on this if you are interested in seeing in detail how I do it, but it is relatively simple. All I'm doing is just applying my liquid latex and letting that dry fully. If you get a little bit on your nail like I did, that's totally fine. Just wait for it to dry and then you can just peel that off. And then I'm gonna take a sponge and I'm gonna apply that big apple red color on the top. Then I'm going to take a slightly darker red, which is OPI can't read without my lipstick. And I'm doing an overlapping line of that also on the same sponge. And we're just gonna do a fun little gradient. I always like to have an in-between color there before I go in with my black. Cause if you just go red to black, it might not be as seamless of a transition. So yeah, now that I've got my sponge fully saturated, I am just going to apply that onto my nail. Just kind of bounce that, move it slightly up and down so that we can get a nice smooth gradient. And then I'm just going to peel off this liquid latex and I'm just using my finger, but you can also use a tweezer for that as well. I did make a little bit of a mess around my skin anyway, so I'm just cleaning that off with some acetone. And then I'm gonna be using my collab with Moyu London and I'm gonna use all of these alchemical symbols to kind of create this look where they're fading up from the black. So kind of hard to explain, but once you see it, it's gonna be really cool. So I'm just kind of working quickly here. I'm not showing you every single design that I am stamping on just because it really is not necessary, especially after you've seen all of the other stuff. So here I am just kind of randomly stamping on these designs, kind of letting them go off of my nail as well. So it kind of looks like they're floating up. And then I'm cleaning off any excess with some acetone once more. You don't have to do as much cleanup as I do. Like you didn't have to clean up after the gradient, but I just like my nails to look nice for the video. And then I am just going to finish off with the no smudge top coat. And this is where it really comes alive because then you can kind of see it almost looks like the symbols are appearing out of the bottom of my nail, if that makes sense. This is another one that I think would have really benefited from having matte top coat just because the glare from my lights doesn't show you like the full depth of how cool this manicure is, but I am really obsessed with it. All right, so that is it for this stamping compilation. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see more of these. I really enjoy doing these long compilations for you. I think they're super fun and I love just giving you ideas for a bunch of designs at once. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put in new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. And that is it, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay, today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter Jean, and Jean wants to know what are your top five Halloween movies? And this is actually a great question because in the beginning of this month, I knew that there were five weekends in October and I wrote down the five movies that I wanna see in October for Halloween. So I will just read them to you. Number one, Nightmare Before Christmas, obviously. Number two, Hocus Pocus. Number three, Sleepy Hollow. Number four, The Shining. I know, first of all, that's not technically a Halloween movie, but it is my favorite like horror movie. And I also know, everybody always tells me whenever I say that's my favorite, that Stephen King did not like that movie. Um, and he wrote the original book, which I also read and loved. And I understand that it's different from the book, but I still really love it, so. Anyway, <laughs> and then the last one is What We Do in the Shadows. And that I just thought was really hilarious. I only saw it for the first time a couple of years ago, but I really wanted to watch it again. So yeah, those are my, I guess those are my top five. But in case anybody is wondering, we're also like supplementing with a bunch of other horror stuff that's on Netflix. So yeah, I, I love Halloween. This is the best time of year. <laughs> All right, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.